if you can't hit somebody in the, you know, in the gut with the image first, they're not going to care what the message is. So people always ask me, would you consider yourself an activist first or an artist first? Always artist first. A lot of times I composite different references into like a sketch and then I, and then I just hand illustrate the imagery and then I scan that in and work out things like typography in the computer and then I make stencils and silk screens after, I'm, after I feel like I have that um, resolved. So, there's a lot of back and forth between um, traditional analog technique and digital technique. Uh, I have a lot more freedom now than I did, say, when I was uh, in my mid-twenties and I was um, struggling first as a screen printer and then as a graphic designer because a lot of times I'd have to make choices. I can either pay my rent and my electricity or I can go on this trip to be uh, to go put posters up in some city, but I can't do both. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Romanticizing being like a broke artist is, um, yeah, it's, it's, I've lived it. I don't need to romanticize it. It's, it's miserable. It's brutal. And it's not about, it's not about not, you know, having certain comforts. It's just about the stress of thinking that your dream's going to evaporate at any moment because you're going to have to get a square job. All I would say to myself back, back then is um, don't get hung up on a particular conception of, uh, of how to make it as an artist because there's a lot of different ways to make it as an artist and doing street art for me was never about being precious. It was about you know, the idea of doing something um, that, that was visible to the public that they didn't have to go to a gallery or a museum to see and really saying through the presentation of the piece that if you have the will to make it, if it lasts five days or five years, people are gonna see it. And it's part of that, that, that spirit of defiance and generosity that goes with it is imbued in the work and hopefully um, maybe inspiring to at least some people, even if it's iring to others.